All right, you guys, Dave, my Mac 6. We are back at Fit Club Las Vegas with the beautiful Haley Marnin. Haley, welcome back to JTV. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me again. I know, it's great to have you. It's been, I can't believe that it's been almost a year ago prior to the 2020 USA that we had you for the very first time. So I can't wait to have you uh, back on to uh, see what happens since then. You look beautiful. Uh, so we're just about, how many days out? You must know this. 12. 12 days out. Wow, it's going to come fast. <laughs> it's going to come super fast. Those last couple weeks just fly by. Wow. Yeah. So in Arizona again, right, this time? Yes. It's back at the same location it was last year. How was that? So I want you to talk a little bit because it was your first USA, your yeah. first national show, yeah. Pro Qualifier. How was your first uh, national uh, uh, event last year? And tell me, how, was, uh, how did that compare uh, to a local show that you've done in the past? Uh, very eye-opening, that is for sure. It's um, it's just a whole other level. Like everybody looks amazing, and is it intimidating? It's very intimidating. Yeah. yeah, it's very hard not to get in your head back there. Like when you're sitting backstage and just looking at everybody warming up, and um, it, you know, you just gotta put the blinders on and do your best job. And that was uh, that's what I did. <laughs> <laughs> so um, remind me, how many uh, how many contests did you actually do since? Uh, so since your first few actually, so how many how many shows locally or since you started? Since I started competing, I've done I want to say six local. Okay. Um, I did do the amateur O in 2018. Oh, that's a big one. Yeah, I got seventh at that one. Um, wow. Mm -hmm, yeah, that was good. Uh, and then from there, I actually took a year off though just to make improvements, um, and then came back because I uh, I started as bikini. I went up to figure for a couple shows and then came back down to bikini. Why did you decide to uh, to try uh, figure and then back down to the bikini? It was uh, a coach's opinion, um, and then at the end of it, I wasn't. It just wasn't really for me. Um, I actually sent my stage shots to a couple of the judges and asked for their opinion on which um, division was a better fit for me. And everybody said bikini. So That's smart. Yeah. yeah. So how did you finish at the first USA last year, 2020? Oh, not great. <laughs> was there a lot of people? It's usually stacked. There's like so many of them, right? There's a 30-something girls wow. in my class, yeah. I, uh, I definitely was middle of last call-outs. Okay. Um, not surprised by my placing, um, especially when I just saw like the caliber of athlete that shows up to the USAs. Like I realized how much harder I was going to have to work. So did you, did you, were you able to ask the judges for some feedback on what they wanted you to improve? Or? Yes, okay. yes. What did um, well, I definitely came in a little bit flat last time, um, but... That was more on, like, the intensity of my prep, like, the amount of time that I gave myself. So I learned my lesson. I didn't give myself enough time last time, so I really had to push at the end there and lost a lot more muscle than I was planning on. Um, so this time I gave myself 18 weeks. Left. How much How much time last, last year? I started at, like, 11. Oh, um, yeah. It was, a, it was a crash crash prep. So a uh, lot smarter this time, a lot um, – it's been – I've had, you know, obstacles like any prep, but it's been a lot more enjoyable. And less, less stressful, I'm mm -hmm. sure. Way less stressful. Yeah. Even with, you know, I've had a couple injuries and things like that, which you're bound to run into obstacles in your prep. Who has an easy prep? Yeah. It's just not really a thing. That's so. the kind of thing people never talk about that. You don't want to talk about that. You just, you know, people always assume uh, when they see someone win, oh, it's been peachy the whole entire time, and it's far from the truth. I remember... Jay used to say when he was competing at the highest level of the Olympia, he says, you know, people always assume that we look great all the time and some days you just wake up, you just don't look good. Mm -hmm. And so it's hard not to let it affect you and you have to keep rolling and pushing forward, right? Yeah, and it's hard to push those thoughts out of your brain and, um, you know, it's really easy to say trust the process, but it's hard. It's hard to, you know, get out of your own head a lot. Um, but that's what I've been working on this time and just relaxing and trusting the process. And of course I get in my head, but yeah. um, it's, been, it's been a lot more enjoyable. So what did you work on the most in 2021 versus 2022? What were uh, some of the areas you focused on for this year? I definitely focused on my glutes a little bit more. I actually have um, significant scoliosis, so it's very hard for me to build my glutes. So I started working with Andy on the newbie machine, oh, okay. and um, I've seen a huge change. What's, so col what's scoliosis? What is, what is that? My back goes like this. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. Okay. So um, because of that, I have imbalances that I needed to fix and um, definitely some growth in my glutes that I needed to work on. So that's what we did. And uh, 
huge change, huge yeah. change using using the machine. It's very good for anybody with an injury. So. A lot of people are actually turning to that. We've actually just filmed uh, Jennifer Dory, who's prepping for mm -hmm. hopefully winning the Olympia, the Olympia this year. We just did Jay here. So I think more and more people are realizing, okay, well, this is maybe just not a hocus pocus, which the machine seems to be, you know, people sometimes they don't know anything about it. So like I just dismiss it right away. But right. if you actually do try it or if you have issues or imbalances, it could actually really help. And you're the proof of that. Yeah, it really does, especially if you have any problem. Like if you have a lagging muscle group, it's it's so beneficial. Yeah, it's so beneficial. Yeah. Has has your uh, nutrition changed at all uh, this year versus last year? Uh, do you think, or um, was there any ma major changes, or just fine tuning? My diet has been completely different. How so? This time around, my calories have been so much higher than they were last time, and I think a lot of that has to do with the amount of time that I gave myself. Yeah. And um, but really, my diet only changed maybe three times my entire prep, and wow. I'm I'm down um, almost 20 pounds. Really? Mm -hmm. it, you know, it, have you noticed that it's really hard to do any competition and not lose at least 20 pounds, no matter how lean you think you are when you start? Like it, like 20, 20, pound, 20 pounds, yeah. I mean, for anybody, seems to be like the norm, mm -hmm. right? It is nowadays, yeah. yeah. When I did regional shows, obviously, like I never saw that kind of a drop. Yeah. But, you know, after my feedback last year, they said, you know, if I would have just come in five pounds lighter, like it would have been a completely different story. So I definitely. That's what they said last year? Mm hmm. So they wanted you leaner last year? Yes, I needed to be leaner, yep. Okay. I definitely Even did. Even though you ate a lot less? I ate a lot less. Uh, my body just didn't respond as well, and this time it's responding great. Yeah. Yeah. That stress is uh, is really going to eat that muscle away too. It's really hard to get uh, uh, to prep for a show when you're always stressing the entire time, that cortisol and everything. So oh, yeah. you do, it, it is more beneficial to do it longer time. Plus, uh, like we talked about, it's like if you're not rushed with a deadline. I mean, there's always a deadline, you know. You're always going to feel rushed of at the course, end, no but yeah. And we were talking off camera that it seemed to me, for a lot of people, including myself, that, you know, when you start prepping for a competition, the first few weeks are always so lengthy and it just goes slower. And once you get to that six weeks mark, it's like no time at all, right? It seriously flies by so fast. I feel like yesterday was eight weeks out. Like, right. I don't even know. I don't even know what happened. Why is that? I don't know. I don't even know how I got here. <laughs> So. Tell me about tell me about Fit Club. How how uh, working here and training here has helped you uh, improving on your physique. It's, it's got to be a huge uh, a huge plus for you. It's it's been nothing but a blessing being here and um, just the environment and the people that you're around. Everybody's so supportive and it's yeah. like a family here and uh, you know you're just around the best. Therefore, you it's easier to try to be the best when you're just surrounded by pros and hardworking people it's a lot easier to stay in the zone it's got to be because you know a lot of time when i speak to people and uh who are prepping who are competing and they, they have a technique technically a, a regular job one of my questions is always like how is your work supporting you mm -hmm. is it possible for you to go eat your meals is it possible to are they understanding and are they supportive and a lot of time it's yes but sometimes it's no so you have people who are you know waitressing at restaurant they have to go eat in the bathroom on their pee break or something that's that's those are real stories oh yeah that was me um when i first started competing <laughs> i was a bartender out here at one yeah? of the pool clubs yeah there and you go. you're you're like hiding down trying to <laughs> shove down food yeah putting it in your pocket running to the bathroom kind of thing yeah this is um Way this more. is a huge advantage. This is great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They actually encourage it. They want you to do well because it's good for the brand. It's good for the gym, right? Exactly. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Well, Ailey, uh, I really appreciate you coming back on the channel. Um, I can't wait to see how things will pan out this year. I'm sure you'll do much better than you did last year. That's progress. Uh, and then I hope that we keep filming. You keep letting us know what the next show will be. And hopefully, uh, I can't wait to do the interview before your pr first pro show. How's that? No, I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> right? One day. It will yes, happen. Sure it will happen. happen. <laughs> All right. Dave my Max 6 at Fit Club Las Vegas with Haley Marnon, and we're out.